But here we go. I'm going to talk in the chat now. And uh, eight minutes left. Uh, Time to roll out. Semi final start now. Okay, cool. Where are you, Cat? Cool, you're right in front of me. Sweet, we're dead. Right. Ah, uh, right. I can relax and actually start doing some pins. <laughs> right. Silliness SD is heading through the uh, middle and trying to get to the corner using the 50 meter rule again to try and spot people successfully. Uh, we have a uh, another T1 Kazwob over on the right hand side. He's deliberately trying to hold this end. The interesting decision here. Um, by the lemming trains and not to cover any aspect of the east. So none of the east is covered at all, sightwise. So anything coming around from their base, they will be caught off guard. But again, not seeing something is seeing something. So they've not been able to see any enemy so far. They've already repositioned Kazwob to the east. So don't think you're fixed. If you picked a strategy and the enemy have done something different, then feel free to make sure that you change that. You, you move over to where you need to go. Awesome. So we have a T1, Coco, yeah, Coco Loco from uh, the Kansna crew. And he has gone down the railway tracks to try and spot anything. He's actually in reasonably good cover because there's no one over at K1 who'll be able to see him. Oh, we have managed to see, however, their uh, heavy tanks. Both Harbour and uh, Cobra is over. Uh, in the death corner. I expected them to go down Death Valley. And Silius is using the physics to his best. I actually didn't know you could do that. He's gone over the little bit there at D4 and he's trying to get away. Will he get away? Oh! Yeah, no, he didn't get away. I think he made the wrong decision going that way. If he went the other way, there's no way the AMX would have caught him. Although, if he came out to the open, he So that was an uh, interesting decision by him. But then again, in then sort of tight situations, you don't have a chance to do a second decision. Uh, oh, I should go this way. Oh no, that would be better. Oh, dead. But Hobo has managed to get a shot on Alien X over the other side. The Alien X. So I'm now, I'm now, I'm now conscious of me pronouncing people's names. Uh, he's got backup though from Polish Rebel. We've now seen Pallada and Yaga. I'm going to say that. Yeah. Cameron's going forward in his T32. Well, the good thing about the T32 is you guys should know by now, but just in case you've just tuned in, it's a good all round tank with very decent front armor, the ability to bounce some shots, and a very average gun for its tier group. It's reasonably accurate, reasonably good fire, reasonable damage. So it's, it's a really good all round tank. So we have these T32s in formation with AMX behind. They've retreated, uh, withdrawn from the middle and Alien X has taken their place. A lot of damage has actually been sustained by the Lemmy train already. I don't believe they've dealt any back whatsoever. But if you look at the Polish Rebel, he's actually using the side scraping maneuver right now. Uh, this is the sort of maneuver you expect people to be doing. It's where he's got his attack angle to the point where if the enemy are trying to, if the opposing team tries to shoot him in the tracks, there's a good chance they would just deflect or absorb by the tracks. And if he just drives forward, he's in cover. So that's exactly what he's doing. And that's a really good example. But we do have their scout now heading down from the hill. And oh my god, the last T1 is down. This is not good for the first round for the Lemmy train. They've lost both their scouts. And the AMXs have got bored. They decided, okay, we're going to go forward now and punish them. But the first shot hits the terrain. Or is that Cobra's? That was Cobra's first shot. So the first two shots from Stiff has gone through. Third shot from King Hunter did not go through. Fourth shot from Stiff did go through. Fifth shot. And is a sixth from Snip. Nope. Pick Hunters fired three, Snips fired five. There's a good chance Snips going to reload now, I'm not sure. I've, I've always wondered and wanted to talk to AMX drivers. Do they reload with a one shell left, or do they actually use it? Do they go forward and try and use it? That's interesting. Because now, this, this second he's been going now, it's 45 second reload. He could have done half it, and with his withdrawing, I'm assuming he's going to reload. He's withdrawing, so therefore I think he's on the reload. We have on the other side, though, the uh, Polish Rebel. Polish Rebel? Polish Rebel? <laughs> I said Polish. Hmm. I just thought that maybe it's Polish. 
<laughs> you have Cameron there with the T32, and they are fighting against two T32s, so that's a bit tight up there. However, that was a really good move, taking out the T32 uh, by uh, the Levy train. We'll see how this progresses, but we have now, we do now know that there are scouts from um, the Kanzler crew over in the base of the Lemming train. So we've got to see if they're going to react and try and catch them. That's an interesting decision they could do. Send forward the um, Commando Cobra. Oh, he's been trying to teach me his name. Commando Cobra. That's it. They're going to send him forward into the cap circle and try and cap. They should force withdrawal of the enemy forces. Uh, maybe. That's a common tactic we do see here at the ESL. Waiting on something to happen. Here we go. The T-32s are coming forward. They've realized the Polish Rebel is there. They're going to take it, trying to take him out, but he's taking no damage so far. Great angle of his armor, but now he's in the open. He's not going to try and withdraw before anything happens. But no, they've tracked him. Two shots into his side. He knees back up, and right now, Elex is turning up with uh, Snip on the fire, giving fire and support. If they spot Elex, uh, sorry, Snip over there, though, he's going to die. Polish Rebel's now been covered by Elex, but Elex is now in the open within the track as well. So, will the Rebel be able to do enough damage? He's not been... Yes, he is. He's been taken out. He almost managed to get in cover. Snip was shot once, but he is now uh, worried about uh, being finished off. Elex is trapped against the rocks, and he's trying to take out uh, Hyba. But they've been flanked. The Elex and Pig Hunter is coming round the back, trying to support uh, Snip. Snip went down. Mojo is probably out of ammo by now, and Hyba is doesn't have anything he can do. He's trying to cover his weak spots, and there's not much he can do at this point. Can he get another shot off before he goes down? Yes, he can. Elex is down to 629, but <laughs> Hyber's down to 33. We have two AMXs still, though. Uh, sorry, one AMX is still for Mojo. For Kansas Crew, Mojo. But is it going to be enough? Is he going to be able to get there? If Hyber get a lucky shot, he can take out Elex, but no, he didn't. And Hyber's down. So Mojo's going to be trying to take out someone, but Cameron's there to take him down. 265 HP is probably enough to absorb an AMX 5100 shot if he's lucky. But if Mojo is lucky, he'd be able to one-shot both Alien X and Cameron. So they've got to go together. Together? No, didn't get a single shot off. Great maneuvering from Cameron and Alien X. Managed to go forward at the same time to make sure that Mojo did not have a choice. He did not have a choice. He couldn't go left or right. If he looked either way, the other one would come forward. And that's exactly what they did. GG, 1-0 to the Lemming Train. That's right, guys. We're new to the Lemon Train. Fantastic. The only person left is the Commando Cobra. And he hasn't done anything. Um, we last time we saw him was down over on the west side. And he hasn't even tried to cap. Which is what I, unfortunately, what I thought he would do as soon as the action stuck in. There he is. He is going for the cap. But it's a bit late now. Hey, cat, shut up, man. Dude, don't do that. Don't talk in the battle. 